Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll show you how you can make a high voltage capacitor, bank charge circuit, or just a high voltage power supply, which can output up to about 400 volts by just using 12 volts. So it's based on a ZVS driver. If you have encountered one, so this is the ZVS driver, and this is the power transformer, the primary, in the center tap and the secondary, and this is the capacitor bank. It is completely regulated, meaning that it monitors the overall voltage of the capacitor and stops charging the bank immediately when it gets the desired threshold. So the secondary winding, the wire I obtained from an old microwave oven transformer high voltage windings, you can use a wire from a reading or just any other enameled copper wire. The circuit for the complete project looks as shown. So the upper diagram is the ZVS driver, so you need two per MOSFETs, the RFP250 will work fine. You also need fast downs like the FR107 or the UF4007, they work just fine. So then the power transformer, so you can make about 7 turns on each half primary and 40 turns on the secondary. Then there's a bridge rectifier to convert the high frequency AC into DC, and then you have your capacitor bank. So here's the power supply and it's the divider network to obtain about 2.5 volts as the inverting terminal of the comparator. So this is the monitoring section and this is the regression section. By adjusting the position of the potentiometer, you can adjust the overall voltage that the capacitor bank will change at. So when the voltage is exceeded, this comparator will conduct and activate this transistor. And if you look at it, basically what it does, it will pull this point to ground and so the gates of both MOSFETs will be pulled low by these diodes. So here you have about 0.7 volts which is not sufficient to turn on the MOSFETs. So the charging driver will be completely disabled. There is also a small switch to activate the charging and these two transistors, so when it's charging, the first LED will turn on and when it's charged, when this down conducts, this will be activated and so the second LED will turn on. So all component values are shown. So and that with that being said, this marks the end of my video. Don't forget to drop a like. You can comment if you have any questions or suggestions and subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials and projects. And most importantly, don't forget to Click the notifications bell to get updated immediately when I upload new videos. I wish you a nice time.